turns out it was literally just down in this area where I was, because the alien things like were right over there. Uh, I'm gonna come back here in a second. I just wanna make the... The... I wanna make the, the mark too. I'm gonna come back here. Because there, I, I wanna see what that cave is. Actually, I might do this. Yeah, I think I'm, I, I think I'm gonna do this, and then I'm gonna go back and get uh, the Mark II. And then we, we can explore. Or we can explore down there. Um, forget what this stuff's for. Like what this ship is for, but I know it's for something. Okay. Glad I got this. Uh, I found all the stuff for it and I made it. Okay, reactor rod that's gonna disintegrate my inventory. Yeah, I think we need these things. I don't know what we need them for or how many we need, but I think we need them. It might be for the satellite. Because that one dude was trying to get them. I don't know. What I do know is that I don't want to die. Scan it. Okay. Oh, hello. I heard a new noise, and I didn't expect to see you. I mean, I kind of did. Just didn't expect to see you that close. You're very kind. I'm so glad that you aren't attacking me. No, get away. <laughs> oh, hello. Hi. How are you? How are you? All right, how has your day been? I uh, I hope. I, ho I hope you're doing well. I, I hope you find a nice meal that isn't me. And I'm glad we can be friends. Thank you. Okay. Wait, and we have the Mark II. Now we just need that stuff, which we won't... Be, uh, we won't need to get for a little bit. We have a lot of exploring to do, a lot of things that needs done. Should be all good on that. 650. Alright. I think we should go to this artifact, and then after that, I want to go down that way. So I can get to. I think it's Mark. I think it's the person's base. One person. I think our name's Margaret, because. Yeah, I don't know. It's been a while. But yeah, I'm gonna go to this first. Alright, okay. I think I'm. I think I'm almost there. I don't think it's through that. And it is. Okay, so it's just the reactor thing? It is both reassuring and unsettling to rediscover this site after being in storage for so long. My connection to the network grows stronger, however slightly. I hope you will continue to search for more. Cool. Okay. tell you to stay away from what i don't even know who you are marguerite made is the name you're on my turf great can i come in and warm up what part of go away do you not understand altera i'm not with altera freaky okay well going in don't mind if I intrude. Is there, I still think her prostate's cool. It's got a freaking massive blade on it. Ooh, I want to scan this big room though. Can I scan it? I can. Okay. New blueprint synthesized. I'll just scan this. We go. We can have we can have like a massive base now. That is going to be nice. Okay, time to intrude on someone's home. Is there anything else we can? Oh, we can scan her bronze suit. Oh, jeez. 
I knew that was gonna happen and it still scared me. <laughs> also, sorry about my cat. She is being funky and kind of loud. My land. You trained that thing? Next time I'll let him tear you to ribbons, Altera. I'm not with Altera. I'm Robin Ayu. I'm looking for information about my sister Sam. I think you might have crossed paths. Bull crap. I suggest you take the time you need to come to your senses and then get off my sea base. If you're not Altera, why don't you disable that damn tracking satellite tower instead of barging into my sea base? Maybe once Altera's off my back, I'll remember something about your sister. There's some junk on that table that might help. I couldn't get it to work. Nice. We're gonna scan all of this. New blueprint synthesized. That far out to sea, swimming back for land wasn't an option. I'd die from exhaustion long before I made it to shore. All I could do was survive long enough to wash up somewhere. I felt a suction. And suddenly, there were vast jaws rising out of the water towards me. It had taken hours for the Reaper's corpse to float to the surface. Using the knife, I clambered up her flank and got a perch on top. I figured she'd float for a few days at least. Enough for me to catch my breath. But would she sink before or after I died of thirst? I had a knife, a repair tool, and three liters of water. At least I wasn't gonna die of exhaustion. Now, those reapers, they're practically all muscle, but there's some fat in there. I was able to keep warm and drink the water. And I didn't have much, but I had that repair tool, so I had a spark. It took a week to light that first fire. And I know more about the burning properties of Reaper fat than I ever cared to. The Vent Garden harvests geothermal energy to nurture the life that grows within. The heck? Provide the Vent Garden. Didn't know they were down here. Oh wait, or is that this thing? Is that those things? I, I don't know. There is something down here we have to get, I think. Rising temperatures detected in mineral rich fissure below. I have been able to sense the location of an important artifact. I will share its coordinates so you can look into it. What's this? Got it. Signal location uploaded to PDA. There I was. 500 meters below sea level. Chunks of the sea base sank around me. One hand gripped the monster scales. The other was clamped around the shard of metal I'd lodged into her eye socket. A reaper. Wounded, maybe, but still deadly. I'd already taken out one eye. I damn near carved out the other. We were headed for the void at the crater's edge. Blinded, she was spiraling deeper. I had a choice. Hold on, or let go. I clung for dear life as she took us deeper. I had one minute of air in the tank. Back then, I could go another three with what I had in my lungs. So I had four minutes to kill the Reaper, minus a few to get back to the surface. It ain't that I like killing folk. It's just sometimes what you need is on the inside of someone else's rib cage. I killed that beautiful, terrifying creature and I made for the surface when I caught my breath I realized we'd come further than I thought I was surrounded by watery void just me and ocean nothing else freaky also I think I'm lost <laughs> okay well I think we should probably end up going back up and I think we need to go through those ships so we can do something about the satellite. I think that's the plan. Oh, hi. 
Oh. Mercury too. Well, I found, guess I found the other part of the ship. Uh, we should definitely go through this. Seek fluid intake. Because we need to get... The, I think it's like a battery Vital or something. Stabilizing. There's also more stuff in here that we need. So I think going through it is a good idea. So I'm going to do it real quick. Won't be long for you guys anyway. I finished the reactor checks. We dumped a ton of runoff and we don't need the rods melting down. Then I helped with the scavenging, chopped some veggies with the cooks, and tried to help Diana, but she sent me down to engineering with Stephanos. I've been working with him the last few days. Stephanos, how to describe Stephanos? He's by far the most thorough engineer I've worked with, and no ego. He never leaves a job undone, no matter how late it is. I've never seen him awake before 11, and he always greets me by saying, Galimera, Yasmin, in the sleepiest role. Not a morning person, that one. <laughs> he listens with the slightest smile on his face, and twirls this stray curl by his ear. He asks a billion questions, but I don't mind. He surprised me today. There's an empty room on the bridge, just a spot of negative space in the ship. He set the picnic there and said, I need to relax. He even called me a busybody. There were these crazy glowing fungus things he found to set the ambiance. The most exciting part though, drum roll, he can jailbreak fabricate. He made a small batch of traditional Grecian dishes, but the craziest part? He managed to make a suitable falafel for me. I never thought I'd see a good falafel in deep space. Alhamdulillah. A quiet genius, that one. This planet may be a cold mistress, but maybe it isn't so bad. Interesting. I'm gonna assume right now that those glowing pushkus are are, well, were the Karar virus, I guess. I don't know. Really and that is my guess on that, and that's, uh, it might, maybe, maybe, well, wait. No, because they would have had to been crashed on this planet already, or something. And the entire ship's underwater, so. No, they, they, I, I would say that's probably incorrect. But, whatever, it's fine. Okay, we're gonna go back to base. I'm gonna make all these things. And see if I can turn off the satellite. Okay. We're doing it. We're doing things. Great. Now back to the terminal. Good. So wait, do we go back down to to her now? Oh right, I forgot. I can't just willy nilly jump off cliffs. Oh, okay. Alright, Altera, you win this round. Come find me at my greenhouse. I'm about a kilometer east of your position, up on an iceberg. I have a present for you. Well, come by if I have time. <laughs> Sure, whatever, if you have time for me in your busy social calendar. Okay, well, I guess we go there then. Is it marked? It's not marked. Oh man, that took forever. Okay, well, I'm here now, so I think we are able to continue the story. Dang, whose bones are these? No one knows. What the? We can go on land. 
three. They're just hopping, dude. Okay, um... I just looked up how to get here. I don't know how to get to the greenhouse. I don't even know where the greenhouse is. It's probably up here. It's not like it's gonna be in, like, a KU or something. Up high would be good, right? Well, actually, I don't know. Oh, well, it is up here, so I guess so. <coughs> You're going in. Hello? Oh. Damn satellite hasn't passed by in a while. I guess that was your doing. Sam's not the only one in the family who knows, knew, what to do with vague directions and old wire. She was an original, that sister of yours. First time I met her, I was sure she was all Tara through and through. Not a crease in her uniform. Sending those damn bird bots to spy everywhere. Then, she surprised me. Maybe a little too much. Meaning? If you really want to know, there's a PDA on the bench that can point you in the right direction. Interesting. Do you need anything else? Don't bother me. <laughs> but you can help yourself with greenhouse. Things I can do to repay you for getting those spine pests off my back. Cool. I'm gonna scan all of this. <laughs> New blueprints. Wait, why is there like well, I mean I can't ask why there's bird noises and there's yeah, okay. There's, there's thingies. All right, Marge, old girl. We hate this greenhouse. So here are some pointers to remember so we never have to do the worst parts again. Too bad you can't fight malnutrition by hunting it down and killing it. So, first thing, insulation. First few nights, the soil was rock solid. Ended up having to insulate the damn place with dehydrated kelp. Adding a thermal mass helped, too. Heat from barrels of water. Probably should have just eaten the damned kelp. But, nope, my body was craving a salad. Wish I was just made of exosuit. Next, grow lights were a must-have. Gotta admit, I felt pretty proud of my first full crop of lettuce. Fed half of it to Preston. That snow stalker will eat practically anything. Always spits half of it out, though. Another thing we have in common. The slobbery green mess makes good compost. Okay. Interesting. I've already synthesized an antidote and stashed it in a cave. I can go grab it and... That's your plan? You don't think it'll work? <laughs> you're thinking too small. Like maybe if you're polite enough about destroying the bacteria, Altera will come around and see it your way. But do you believe in yourself or not? I think so. You think so? Come on! Is a bacteria a threat? Or isn't it? It is. Does it need to be dealt with or not? It does. So who's right on this? I am. Say it like you mean it. I am. I said like you mean it, not like you're testifying before a rigged transgov court. I you can look all you want. There's more to Marguerite than any damn fangled gadget can see. I did not mean to. I've already synthesized Stop an that. antidote and stashed it in a cave. I can go grab it and... That's your okay. plan? Yeah, play that you don't again. think it'll work? <sighs> you're thinking too small. Like maybe if you're polite enough about destroying the bacteria, Altera will come around and see it your way. But do you believe in yourself or not? I think so. You think so? Come on! Is a bacteria a threat? Or isn't it? It is. Does it need to be dealt with or not? It does. So who's right on this? I am? Say it like you mean it! I am. I said like you mean it, not like you're testifying before a rigged transgov court. I am. Great. Then what you gotta do is seal off the whole cave. 
I've got just the stuff. Made it for fishing, but it blew the whole ice shelf halfway to deep space. Vaporized all the fish. Okay. And you gotta hit the lab, too, or there's just no point. Actually, you know what? Let me take care of that one. It'll be fun. Already then? A lab, I think. Somewhere. Maps, yeah, there we go. Spiel Labs somewhere. Yeah. That's oh it's the one it's over there, huh? Is that where we just is this where we are? Or are we Wait no, I think we're over here. I got no idea. I think I'm gonna try and go to this now. Try and make it quick, because I am running out of time. A fortnight into our voyage, I was more or less living inside the creature's rib cage. It meant shelter, and it meant food. The flesh was starting to rot. The stench was unlike anything I'd ever smelled. As we floated, the temperature dropped. And the rotten meat began to stiffen and freeze. Slowly, almost imperceptibly, the Reaper began to lose buoyancy. We sank a little each day. My sanctuary was becoming my tomb, and I was at the mercy of the current and the winds. Until one day, I saw a smattering of penguins in the distance. Swimming birds usually mean solid land of some kind. I was lucky. The winds followed their path. Hours later, I saw a blessed sight. An unmoving cloud sitting upon the water. Land. It renewed my spirit as I watched the land get closer and closer. The reaper slowly sank, but I was no longer worried. When the Reaper finally sank below the water, I was close enough to lazily swim my way to shore. I made a note to come back for the Reaper's skull. I didn't ride the beast for three weeks to have no proof. Land never felt so good, even in this Arctic hell. Okay. Well, we got something out of it. That's good. Okay guys, I think we've done a decent bit in this episode, and I think I'm gonna end it. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, I'll see you in the next one.